more questions. You haven't asked one, Christian. Hey guys, thank you for coming. Um, consumption tax replacement of income tax, yes. HOT lanes, no. Uh, question about what is in the media here in Charlotte right now regarding the Carolina Panthers. Uh, we are looking now at a city council that is willing to expend and raise taxes of public money to find a private for-profit business. This is more than likely going to go to the General Assembly to be accepted or denied. My hope as a Republican who has donated hundreds of hours knocking on thousands of doors that we can count on our supermajorities to say no to any tax increase as it is not the proper role of government to fund private enterprises. Can we count on you to be a no vote for that eventual request? Yeah, I may give you, a, I'll give you my personal insight. Some of you were at the breakfast this morning, the speaker who Tillis spoke at, which kind of gave a broader perspective. If you look at the options on both ends of the spectrum, one is to simply say, Mr. Richardson, we will happily write you a check for $125 million, and thank you, end of day. The other end is to say absolutely under no way will we support that. But it's actually a little more complicated than that. Would I personally write them a blank check and just say have at it? Absolutely under no possible way or condition. Especially when you look at they're talking about right now, the condition is just keep you would commit to staying in Charlotte. But they're talking about two years. I mean, I'd do that with my house mortgage. Uh, it, it, that's silly. But you can't be short-sighted to recognize the economic engine that is. So you have to set and be pragmatic and set at the table and say, I'm willing to discuss and listen, listening. And what Tom has said, which absolutely makes sense, is certain businesses, certain enterprises have enough impact, whether you're attracting or not, to say, we're willing to look. But you've got to recognize there's always two conditions. And this is what's been done. Caterpillar came this year, and it said, that one is there's performance measures that you have to guarantee. If not, then, then that incentive, if there's one established, has to be paid back. And there's always going to be clawback provisions. So those are things you sit down and look at and consider. Personally, I don't see how you give that kind of money and just say thank you. That very, would be very, very difficult. Because then the government's in the position of picking winners and losers. I want your business to do well. I don't really care about yours. And that's not what we should really be in the point of making decisions about. So, so is that a yes, no, maybe? No, I, I think, I, I, here, here's me. I, I'm, as a rule, not about absolutes. I'm willing to set a table. You'd have to have an unbelievably compelling argument and a set of conditions to make that work. I mean, my inclination is kind of where you are, Christian, is to say no. And you'd have to convince me absolutely what. And it would have a ton of conditions. I mean. The one option that I've heard that actually might make it reasonable, and, I, and you'd have to get in the details, and I've heard that it would never agree, but it's kind of like the Green Bay Packers. We give you $125 million. What I really want, first and foremost, if I'm writing you a check for $125 million as a person investing, what would you expect in return? No, no not wins. It's not, what I want to say, <laughs> it's not their role. <laughs> No. 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 But if they were to say no and over and let us, the better option is to facilitate letting the community take stock and ownership and let residents buy them out. Because he said he wants to sell two years after he passes it. But there are better options that don't involve, you know, government charity, if you will, which just gets us deeper in the hole. So that's just my two cents. Do you want to add anything to that? Actually, there is one. Now, I'm going to get in the weeds here a little bit. That's called shots around the weeds. There's a term called imputed value. And here's the way it works. The Carolina Panthers built a stadium on land that the city of Charlotte bought for several million dollars and leased to them for a dollar a year. Mecklenburg County and the city of Charlotte imputed the value of that land lease free and tax the Carolina Panthers every year on the value of the use of that land as if they owned it. 
And every year, the Carolina Panthers have been writing a check for 15 years to do this. Now, they don't like it. And what's worse is, I started to say Charlotte Hornets, but it's the Bobcats, right? <laughs> Same thing. No, the basketball guys. Oh, they have an arena that they get basically for free that's turned over to them through this, I don't know if it's CRC Partners or Convention Business, it's one of those initial organizations in downtown Charlotte. But the bottom line is they not only get it for free and don't pay any taxes on the imputed value, but because it goes through the CRVA, they actually get to charge other people to use the arena that the city of Charlotte taxpayers built and make money off of that. And the Panthers kind of feel like they're not being treated fairly, and I tend to agree with them. So there are, stop the funding in fact, for the, the Panthers are the only people that are taxed like that. Well, here's the thought. Give them their money back. Give them all that tax money back and quit taxing them. Number two, they got a bunch of money that came in from the convention center and they have money that they make from all the venues, once again, the downtown organizations, and it's sitting in the bank. Give the Panthers that. Why are you coming to me to invest money in something that you're not, that you're pulling the money out? What you're really wanting to do, what you're really doing, is taking prepared food money that all of us are paying for paying whatever you can get from the state, and laundering it through the Carolina Panthers to turn it into general fund money that you can spend any way you want. I've heard the baseball thing actually works out the same way. They're going to get the baseball team tourism money. The baseball team turns around and gives them tax money on the value of the stadium, and they have laundered tourism money the general fund money. This whole thing is just so convoluted. We're going to have a lot of fun before it's over. And what are they going to bring to Raleigh? How the hell should I know? Nobody's talking to me. The only thing I know is what I read in the Charlotte Observer after somebody ratted them out after their executive session. So the, 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 the simple question is, will you vote to increase taxes? Obama and yes or no? Have proposed 